I've got an all new Firebow tutorial for you guys in 2023. This is a custom Black Ops 3 Zombies map and we're calling it like Derizon 2.0, but it's actually called the Iron Dragon. This map is so fun and really well done. And shout out to the creator Truman08. He reimagined and recreated some of the areas that we normally don't have access to. Right here, this is a zombie spawn and he made this into a playable area. On Derizon, you have like the spawn area and the bell tower area and the courtyard yard but that is not accessible here what he's done is he's built out the back of the castle he took the center of horizon and then built backwards so you still have access to the church area or command center but you can't go through those doors and get into the courtyard or get to the bell tower what's cool is that yeah you play the back side of the castle and the spawn area is behind it and he put the origins church right here and this is a really nice integration it works really well so this video is going to show you how to build the four bows and i'll have timestamps so you you can just skip to the bow you're trying to get set up. One of the steps is to pick up these orbs and there is one outside of the spawn area in the church at this one punch pedestal. This one is a teal color and it's for the wolf bow. The four orbs that are linked to each of the bows are not needed to build the bows but what they do is open up the pack-a-punch area and there are some steps around that area that you need to complete the bows. Right as you come out of the church you're going to be going through a couple of barriers and there's going to be one of the first dragons that you need to feed and this is just like Horizon. you have to feed three dragons to get the base bow wrath of the ancients this map has a lot of rooms and a lot of doors so it's easy to get lost when you first start playing it and there's a method we use to try to remember where everything is and i'll show you guys that but first thing you want to do is open the gates here turn on that jump pad open this door and then go to the left behind this door here is going to be another dragon in this area and just get the kills that you need feed that dragon then go back back out the door you came in and this is going to be the main area that you're going to walk through and this is how we kept track of where we were and where to go so if you're looking at the first dragon where you came through you just walk all the way back keep opening the doors there might be some shield pieces on the way and that door right there is going to open up to the church command area this is where you would expect to find the final dragon and yes it is here above the fireplace so for us, we just used that pathway as like the main highway from the first dragon all the way back to dragon command. And then we were able to branch off into the different rooms and areas to get all over the map. From the dragon in church, you go up these stairs and out this door. And this is the normal area on Horizon that you would expect. And it is the same. If you go through this door here, you can get to the power switch. What's different here and what you're going to need to do next is go left and go out this door. Normally you'd go to the death ray, but now you teleport into one of the robot heads from Origins and pick up another orb. This one here is for the fire bow. When you leave the robot head or any of the robot heads, which there are all three of them here and I'll show you those, you will be put back near the spawn at the first dragon that you feed. Then you can go all the way back and down what we're calling the main highway of the map. You go into the church again where the dragon is and then in the back corner near Speed Cola, normally you would go into the Undercroft, but that's blocked off and again, you portal to one of the robot heads and in this one you're going to pick up the storm bow orb and these portals to these robot heads and these orbs do not open up until you do turn on power Again, it will teleport you back to the first dragon. You'll take the main highway back into the map, and now you're ready to pick up the Wrath of the Ancients bow. This bow location is another really good landmark to help you with directions on where you're at in the map and where to go. And right here, you're just gonna turn right before you go into the church, and there's the bow. This is the connecting spot for two really important places on the map. One is you go up to the Pack-a-Punch, and then if you go down from the bow box, you go into to where the boss fight is and where you pick up the upgraded bows. When you go up the stairs from the Wrath of the Ancients bow, you'll make your way into this room where you can start placing the orbs that you've been picking up from around the map, like the Origins Church Pedestal and also the Robot Heads. Placing these orbs is going to open up the pack bench, and there's one more orb that you need to collect. And if you go from the bow box again, and instead of going upstairs to the pack bench, you go downstairs underground, you go through this door, and then make a left up those stairs. There is a staircase on the right. You don't want to take that. The left stairs is going to take you into the upgraded bow room. And this is also the boss fight. And the last portal for the last orb is going to be on the left. 
This is going to be for the Void Bow, and yes, it's another robot head. Collect the orb, teleport out. It's going to take you again back to the main area and the first dragon. You take the main highway back into the map. Then before you go into the church, all the way at the back, you make a right. You'll see the Wrath of the Ancients bow box again, and you'll take the stairs all the way up past double tap and back up into the orb room. Here you will place the final orb, and then you can start feeding souls to the center pedestal and that's going to produce the summoning key. Grab the summoning key and place it on the pedestal next to the Shadows of Evil Pack-A-Punch wall symbols. That wall is going to break open. You'll see some stairs and those stairs are going to take you upstairs to the top of the castle where the Pack-A-Punch machine is. And there's going to be two steps that have to be completed here for a couple of the bows. One is for the fire bow and the other is for the storm bow. For the fire bow, you need to activate this landing pad right here. And I'll show you guys the fire bow steps right now. So from the main highway, make a left towards one of the dragons that you feed. Then you go up these stairs and make another left. Through this door here, you're going to find Juggernog and then the first step to the fire bow. You'll use the Wrath of the Ancients, do a charge shot and hit the top of this rock. You'll see the broken arrow for the fire bow up here. You'll just pick that up and now you're ready to start using the jump pads to light up the three circles. The three circle locations are one at Pack-a-Punch at the top of the castle, then one floor down at the mule kick, then the final one is on the bridge here near the spawn. There are two launch pads on this map. I use this one to light up the mule kick circle and then also the one at Pack-a-Punch. This Pack-a-Punch circle can be really tricky to light up and you can use any bow. If you have another bow upgraded, it can make it a little bit easier. We were using the storm bow and getting it like first time. But right here you can see I lit up the mule kick circle and now I'm gonna go and take this launch pad and light up the one on the bridge. And you might be able to light up all three circles with one jump from this lower launch pad. I haven't tried that yet, but for the Pack-a-Punch one, you have to shoot with a charge shot at the very top of your jump. You need enough time to shoot that circle before you land on that landing pad. Now you just feed 10 kills to each circle and complete that step. Also, anybody in your game can help you with any of these steps. They can be feeding the circles for you. They could be taking the jump pads and lighting the circles if you need help. All the bow steps are shared. Everybody can help everybody, it's awesome. After all three circles are fed, head into the Dorizon Church area underneath the dragon and do one single shot into the fireplace with any bow. Just make sure it's not a charge shot. And again, anyone in your game can help you do this step. If you're on the other side of the map and they're here, just let them know. Shoot the fireplace, pick up that arrow. Then you need to go back up to the roof where Mule Kick is. Interact with the magma ball. It will explode and you'll be able to pick up the completed arrow and then take it down into the underground and put it into the bow box. You'll need to fill up the bow box with zombie souls and anybody in the game can help you fill up the souls. It doesn't matter who picked up or started the quest. The next bow is the storm bow and this one is easier. The fire bow is the most difficult to build because it's the only one that needs kills and so it takes the longest. The weather vane is also the first step for the storm bow on this map and you just shoot the weather vane right here above the first dragon that you encounter. The broken arrow will drop down to the left right here. You just pick that up. Now you'll want to head all the way to the top of the castle where the pack of punch is and there's going to be three bonfires that you have to light just like on Dorizon. There's one to the left of the stairs as you come up to pack a punch and if you just do a charge shot with any bow it will light it and you can also let anybody in the game help you with this. The other bonfire is across the other way. Now right here I'm in the beta version and there are actually stairs right here now so it's got a little bit better line of sight. The final bonfire is across the map near the spawn and you can do this from the lower level with the mule kick or high up on the pack-a-punch level. The next step is go back down to the bottom of the church. Take the main highway in and before you get in into the church area on Horizon, make a left. There's going to be a locker and you just melee it and pick up a fuse. And you can see this storm bow symbol on the side of the locker. 
Grab the fuse, head into the Dorizon Church, go up the stairs like you're going to power, because you are going to power. There's going to be a set of fuses on the right, and you want to place it in the open slot. This is going to open these gates right here to these transformers, and this is so cool. Like, this guy is adding in steps to areas we've never had access to and incorporating them. I thought that was so cool. Behind those gates, you pick up a coil and then take it up to Pack-A-Punch and put it in that spot right there. And it completes the Pack-A-Punch. And then you'll get the arrow. You'll pick that up, take it down into the underground, place that, feed the soul box. And again, anybody can feed this for you and do any of these steps to help. Also, everyone can hold up to three bows if you have Mule Kick. And everybody can hold the same bow if they wanted. Now I'll show you guys how to do the wolf bow steps. So if you're looking at the power where it normally is on Horizon, you want to turn to the left, look out this window, and shoot that painting with a bow. It'll light up the wolf bow symbols. Now you need to go around to the paintings in order. And if you're on the main highway, make a left right here. And there's going to be the second painting. You just interact with it. It'll light up the wolf symbol. The next one is in the Horizon Church. It's the Apothecans attacking again interact with this one hit x or square or whatever platform you're on then the final one is from the wrath of the ancients bow box you go down the stairs and the final painting will be in this hallway on the right interact with that you'll be done with the paintings then continue down this hall to the left and right here this wall will explode and you'll be able to pick up the broken arrow now go back out to the spawn area where you see the first dragon head and up there is going to be the flag. You just want to do a charge shot with any bow to activate the skull to fall down. You'll pick that up and then you have to go back underground where the bow boxes are and place the skull. There is a shortcut from this spawn area. In the Origins tank station, there is the Zetsubo sewer pipes that you can take for 500 points. And this will put you directly into that boss fight area and where all the upgraded bow boxes are. The wolf bow boxes on the far right, you just place the skull there and there's going to be a shovel that appears and you just pick that up and then you have to go back to the spawn. I didn't show it here, but if you take that portal that puts you into the robot head and then you eject out, it puts you right back at the spawn at that first dragon head and that's free and it's very quick. Then go upstairs through the church and there's going to be a grave here. Just interact with it and the arrow will come out of the ground. You want to pick that up and go back underground and place it in the bow box and then feed it souls to collect the bow. Now for the final bow and the void bow, take the main highway from the first dragon and you'll see up on the left there the symbol for the void bow. Just shoot that. The broken arrow will drop down. Pick that up. Go forward. Turn left into this room. Shoot the vase here. This is where you will be completing the void bow. After shooting the urn, you need to pick up six keeper skulls around the map. One's going to be here on the bridge. Another is going to be in the church upstairs next to the one punch pedestal. Another is next to this other dragon that you feed. Just turn left here. It's going to be on this table. Then from here, you're just going to cross over that main highway area and keep going straight. And you're going to see right here in this corner, another skull next to this motorcycle. Then from the main highway, you go from the Wrath of the Ancients bow box up the stairs near Double Tap. There's going to be a skull right here on those sandbags. Then if you pass through the orb room area and the death ray where the mule kick is, you'll see a skull on that desk. If you got them all, you'll go back into the room and you'll hear him saying his name. Just make a note of those three words, then go out to where the knights are near the power and just match up those apothecan symbols with the words that he spoke. Then you go back in the room and interact with those three apothecan symbols on the ground in order. And if done correctly, it will release the arrow. Collect the arrow, go back underground to where you upgrade the bows, place it, and then feed the bow box. Again, anyone in the game can help you with these steps. I was playing with the No Thumbs crew and we were just speed running this where we were all collecting skulls. We were all doing all of the bow stops to get them done as quickly as possible. And like I said earlier, you need all four bows built to do the main Easter egg. And 
and I'll be making a video next about how to complete those steps. So you'll need this video in addition to that one. Also, I believe that if you stand really close between two bow boxes that you're trying to fill, one zombie will split into two souls and feed two soul boxes at the same time. That was a nice trick discovered by the No Thumbs crew. Big shout out to those guys. It was a ton of fun doing this with them. I hope you guys enjoyed this and we'll see you next video.